week 15, day one. Uh, so I had an okay night of sleep last night. Uh, got up in the night to go to the bathroom. And then for whatever reason, I just felt really anxious and kept tossing and turning. And I was like worried I was going to miss my alarm. And I don't know, it was really weird. I haven't had one of those nights in a while. Um, but then did my tempo chest and try workout this morning, which went really well. Very pleased, very happy with how it went. Um, when you're talking about tempo, you're talking about slowing down the movement. So you have a concentric motion and an eccentric motion. The concentric motion is going to the top of the movement. The eccentric motion is on the way down from the, uh, the movement. So like for instance, doing a chest press, on the way up, you're counting to six, and then on the way down, you're counting to six. And uh, you do that for 15 reps. And then on the set of 12 reps, you're going up for three seconds, down for six seconds. And then for the set of eight reps, you're doing up for three seconds, down for three seconds. Uh, so the first move is a flat bench uh, dumbbell chest press. And you do the, what, the way I just described it. And then you do something called the figure four crunch where you're lying on the bench. You take your right leg and you press it up against your bent left leg. So it kind of makes the number four. And then you do 10 crunches. You go up for three seconds, down for three seconds. Then you switch it to the left leg where you press your left leg into your right leg, up for three seconds, down for three seconds. Um, 10, 10 reps of that. Then you do an incline bench. Same thing that you did with the flat bench, reps of 15, 12, and 8. And you do the same 6-6, six, 3-6, six, three, six, three, three. Uh, And then after that, you do something called the Crick Crunch, where you're um, kind of almost like if you're lying out on the beach sunbathing. You're lying back with your legs on the floor, your glutes are on the floor, and your forearms are on the floor. So you're kind of leaning back. You cross your leg, put your right leg on top of your left Put a lot of pressure with that right leg and then you bring your knees towards your chest and you kind of scooch forward a little bit but it's a core move so you do t uh, three seconds in three seconds out uh, 10 reps on the right side then you uncross your legs then you put your left leg on top do the same thing then you do an inclined chest fly uh, and you do six seconds 15 reps uh, six and six and then for the reps of 12 you do six seconds out three seconds up and then for the set of eight, you do three and three. Um, then after that, you get into a plank, like a push-up position. You go down into a sphinx position. I hold that for six seconds, come back up to a plank, hold that for six seconds. That's one rep. You do 10 of those. Then you move on to the triceps where you do um, skull crushers. Uh, I use an easy bar. And you do 15 reps, six seconds down, six seconds up, uh, 12 reps. Uh, six seconds down, three seconds up, and then eight reps, three seconds down, three seconds up. Um, and then you do a weighted crunch. So using that last weight you used for the um, set of eight, you uh, go up into a crunch position, holding the weight above you, hold that for three seconds, come down for three seconds, uh, and you do 10 reps of that. Um, then after that, you do... Uh, the brutal, the most brutal, I think. Um, you do tricep, single arm tricep kickback. Um, so you're leaning up against your bench uh, and you do uh, 15, 12, and eight each arm. But that one you do three seconds up, three seconds down for all of them. And then you do a dip. So you do a set of 15 reps of uh, single arm tricep kickback, both arms by themselves. Then you get into a dip position on the bench. You do six seconds down, six seconds up. Um, you do 15 reps of those. Brutal. Then you do 12 reps, again, of the single arm kickbacks. Um, and then you do 12 reps of the dips again. You do six seconds down, three seconds up. Brutal. Then you do eight reps of the single arm tricep kickback. And then you do eight reps of uh, dips, where you do three seconds down, three seconds up. Then you do... You get into a plank position and you um, kind of cross your legs to the, towards the opposite elbow. Um, so it's kind of like a, a inverse twist, I guess you can say. Uh, so you do 10 on each side um, and that's the workout. So yeah, excruciating, uh, felt good the whole way, felt nice and strong. 
Uh, one nice thing about doing these tempo workouts is you don't need to lift heavy weights. So I'm probably lifting anywhere between two thirds to three quarter um, the amount of weight that I typically would if I was just doing regular normal motion. Um, so it's a little bit nicer on the joints, uh, helps out that tissue so you're not putting as much stress on it. But let me tell you, you still feel it. And you're also working the slow twitch muscle fibers, which if you're not focusing on the speed, you're just cranking them out. You're, you're, you're working your fast twitch. So it's really nice to kind of change things up a little bit. I'm probably wondering why is this guy walking around circles? I'm trying to hit my 12,000 step daily goal. I'm just a few thousand steps shy. So I need to get that in. Um, also, I'm a weirdo. And during commercial breaks on movies I'm watching or TV shows or sporting events, I get up and walk around. I don't just sit there and channel surf or just flip open my phone and sit down. I get up and walk during the commercial breaks. You can say I'm a weirdo and whatnot, but it keeps me moving. And walking is one of the best forms of burning cardio. You're in a low intense cardio state. Therefore, your body's more likely to burn fat. Uh, when your anaerobic threshold's going up, uh, your VO2 max is going up, you're switching more into a glycolytic or uh, carbohydrate burning stage. So by walking, like if you just made one simple change in your life, the first thing you do when you wake up, go for 10, 15, 20 minute walk um, and walk at a speed where like I'm able to talk right now and have a conversation with you where you're uh, still able to talk, you're going to be in a fat burning state. And just simply by doing that, you're going to burn more fat over the course of the year if you didn't do anything else. Like you don't even worry about changing your diet to your sleep habits or anything like that. Um, but you will definitely see results and at least burning some fat over the course of that year. So there's your tip for the day. Well, today was a pretty good day. Very happy. Uh, Mind state is in a good spot right now. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys today. So please keep it locked in here on my channel and like and subscribe. And continue to follow along with me as I go through this 26-week ketogenic bodybuilding prep. And I'll see you all tomorrow.